All right, and today we have the finals matches of the Lobster Bowl signature event. And today I'm joined by Liam from 1082R. Hola. And yeah, on the red lines in the first seed, we have A829C Catalyst and A89A 99%. In the blue alliance, the sixth seed fighting their way all the way up here. 77677X Trailblazers and 16610A Snacky Cakes. And, you know, let's get the auto started. So, this is actually quite interesting because I think a lot of you guys already know this tournament was, was you know, this, the, the Blue Alliance here won the tournament. Huge come up for the Six Alliance. Yeah, I mean, uh, throughout all of Elims, there were zero upsets other than um, this team other from, than this, from this team right here. Yeah, yeah, and honestly, we would like to focus completely on sixteen six ten A and their incredible work on their strategy and driving because I mean their robot, I, I wouldn't, it wasn't like it's definitely consistent, but it wasn't the best here, definitely. But mm -hmm. yeah, them just getting straight into that corner, they're using the Dwarf. Their Dwarf is quite quite nice since it scoops every every ring except for the bottom one so then a lot of times that bottom ring is is their color so they can just grab that one yeah and also i see they use it for goal rush and uh i'm not do they have a separate mechanism for their wall stakes or yeah. is it the same one um it's the, I think it's it the same one it's the same one they're using oh, the same one okay which is kind of crazy right that's uh, they're getting yeah, a lot for that three purposes and then they're like okay so they were in that corner for quite a while, and Red just didn't really want to defend them. I think this Red Alliance here is getting, you know, too com uh, too like comfortable playing playing so far, right? They they've had a couple close matches throughout Elims, but I feel like they they thought that uh, finals shouldn't really be a problem for them. But then uh, Snack and Cakes quickly proves them wrong here. Blue Alliance here, their Alliance partner Trailblazers actually descores that red ring that was on that corner. That was on that wall stake, and Snacky Cakes plays incredible defense here on yeah on eight and, uh, you, or on ninety eight percent. And also, go back uh, like fifteen seconds. You see, Snacky Cakes actually they they go up to this goal, and since it's a lot slower to have a goal, they they tip it over so that way it's much harder for the opponents to get. That's a strategy we saw with um, eight eight nine A in Elims as well, or in uh, Quals as well is they would tip over their own goal, and so it's more offensive. That way, you can uh, defend goals a lot easier. See, right now, it's... First of all, it's covering that other goal, and it's impossible to get the the goal that's tipped over, and the the goal in their clamp as well. Yeah, so that's, so that's a three for one, yeah. Them. Incredible. And you can see them using their, their wall stick mech here. It's definitely not like the most effective and, and consistent one, but they're able to make it work. And as you can see here, A889A unfortunately disconnects. Their battery gets unplugged there. I'm pretty sure they might have not, they might have um, acts like didn't plug it in all the way. So then when they ran into the wall there, they just they DC and they drop that goal quickly though. Quickly 16610A notices that and takes that goal away from them and takes this match due to this play. But there, they're yeah. still very, very, uh, you know, very calm and collective during all these plays. And this is definitely going to be something that we're going to see in the next match where they also make this the another last second play. And I like to really, I'm no glaze, but their driver is kind of crazy because every, a lot of, I think most matches I've seen because they've, they've done quite a couple upsets during the eliminations. And a lot of the matches has been like this one where they make an incredible last second decision and which makes them win the match. Yeah, I mean, it just goes to show, like, they... I would say um, that both the Red Alliance's bots were better than Snacky Cakes, but I would assume their bot is very simple and uh, effective that they were just able to grind that driver practice and really uh, get that edge because of it. Yeah, and uh, here's, is here, here's much more of a showing for, for them because... In this match, Snacky Cakes is disconnected for quite a long time. The, as you can see, their auto didn't run here, and you know we saw what, what, what an auto doesn't uh, not running does to a team, especially you know at Mall 360X and 229B, yeah. the first seeds and probably the best teams in North America at that time losing because just of one auto not running, and that was in the round of 16 against the worst 
uh, R16 opponents, right? But in this match here, this is the finals. This is the end, and they're playing against the first seed. And the first seed has upped them, right? The first seed scored more on the auto, and let's see what happens here. They are going to be down so much, and this come up here is quite incredible. Were yeah, we watching both ones in one video? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So as the as the match starts here, they quickly get to work fixing their fixing their robot. The refs allowed them to, uh, you know, try to replug the battery or just turn turn the robot back on, and they're gonna be able to get back back into the match pretty quickly. So, well, not that quickly. Fifteen seconds is a lot of time, but their driver does. No waste of time. Even though Red Alliance has both positive corners. Let's see how they're going to win this. Yeah, uh, something, I mean, maybe a lot of people might not know, is if your robot does not move at all in the Antanas period, then you're allowed to, uh, like, mess with your battery, um, press the power button on the brain, and I think that's it. Yeah, you can uh, you can see that their teammate is kind of stressing out here. He's kind of struggling. It's taking him twenty seconds to, or more than twenty seconds to grab that that goal, blue goal. But snacky cake, though, so still <laughs> snacky cake, still playing, playing, yeah, playing great offense on on the red alliance. Even though both of these red alliances have filled goals in the in the positive corner, and they actually have three goals. They have three goals, and blue only has two. So all red has to do is just keep in control of those goals, and they're pretty much guaranteed to win this match. Yeah, it's it's very hard to upset when if they have control of both positive corners. So the only real uh, thing you can do is either score basically all of the rings on the wall stakes, which will be very hard to do with defense. And you would also have to score uh, most of the rings on the goal, which you can't even do anymore because they have one of the goals in this possession. So you see they do fight over for that goal, and they see an opportunity towards the end. Yeah, but I just want to point out here, toward, towards the end, Snacky Cakes makes a very good decision to knock down their own goal because they realize mm -hmm. that, you know, if they don't do that, then Red can very, very easily, after the uh, the end game timer, right, the 15 second protection, protection timer, they can come and they can just put push their goal into the corner, into the ne negative corner. So they do that just in case. And that's just really, really smart and effect, uh, effective thinking there, thinking ahead. I also want to point out another play from 99% here, pinning them to the corner. Also, very good read on Snacky Cakes, pinning them to the corner until the last 15 seconds. But unfortunately, I don't think they realized that that goal was not in the uh, positive corner towards the end there. Snacky Cakes does realize that they have a great view of that being super close, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. So then yeah. they go in and very, this is super calm, super calm playing. They grab that goal with almost no like push into the corner. And then with, with three seconds remaining, or even one second here. Okay, with five seconds remaining, they come in and they scoop this corner. But with one second remaining, they tap that goal into the negative corner and effectively seal this match. And that's what that's what won them the match. Um, just uh, their their view of the field helped them like ensure that that goal wasn't in there. And I mean, even even though it was outside of the thing, it's still very easy to nudge it just a little bit because uh as you know the if the goal is hanging any bit over that line then you then it counts for um being scored and then they would be dq'd so that calmness while driving uh was really what won them the match yeah i noticed here with uh, their doinker mech they have been playing s some incredible work at the very at the end game for a lot of matches so definitely a takeaway you know be learning from uh, this team here. They're definitely going to be incredible to see for the rest of the season coming in from Canada. Absolutely. Can't wait to see how they do at their next, if they go to another signature. Yeah. And talking about flipping goals, right? We were, as, as we said earlier about, uh, you know, Snacky Cakes' vision from, from, pretty, uh, from pretty early. Their teammate Trailblazers didn't do that. And, you know, ended up what happened to their goal is that it was stolen very quickly by 99%. But I don't think that goal ended up pr pr properly in the corner because they didn't use their Dwinker mech, and how and Snacky Cakes did. So, Just... yeah, I mean, I didn't really think about it at first, but it's a lot harder to get those goals in now that they made those corner triangles. Yeah, this is uh, definitely this definitely makes me think of the the Ben play from from Tipping Point Dome where he he uh like un where he unlodged that goal from underneath his own uh like 
bounce beam and then won the match, right? It's just super calm driving. This is definitely got ice in his veins. But yeah, very good match.